Okay, we have our 10 other integral. This one's from JE Main 2006. We have the integral from 3 to 6 of square root of x over square root 9 minus x plus square root of x dx. Okay, I was really liking this one just because typically when we come across problems that look like this, they usually have trig functions in it, and here we've got no trig functions to be found. Now to get started, what I actually want to do is use King's principle on this. So let's just take a look at that really quick. Okay, now using King's principle with this, now this is actually something you could do in like five seconds, just looking at it once you're used to these. But let's just do it out with the steps using King's principle, which is gonna kind of be like a shortcut for our substitution. So looking at the bounds going from A to B for this, we're saying our A value is gonna be three and our B value is gonna be six. And all this stuff right here, this is gonna be our F of X. And what we're gonna to wanna to transform this with is F of B plus A minus X. Well, B plus A is just gonna be adding the bounds. So what we're gonna be using is gonna be F of six plus three or nine minus X. So we'll go ahead and rewrite this. Updating it with this, we're gonna have, this is gonna be going three to six. And then here, everywhere for X, we wanna plug in nine minus X. So like in the numerator, we're gonna have just nine minus X. Then here, let's do this one kind of carefully. So we have nine minus, and we plug in nine minus x here. And then this is the same thing as this term here, nine minus x dx. But when you clean this up right here, nine minus nine is gonna be zero, distribute in the minus sign, this whole thing becomes square root of x. So then just making it clear with the rewrite, we have the same bounds. Let's change the order on this. Okay, so we'll put this one first square root nine minus x, plus this is now square root of x. We have this right here. Now comparing to our original integral, we've got the same exact denominator, same bounds. Let's put a label on our original integral i. Then, I mean, everything's gonna be i, right? This is gonna be i. But then let's take this, let's add this copy of the integral to this copy. So we're gonna have two copies. We're gonna have two i down here. So for two i, We've got the same bounds, so we can kind of slam these together into one integral. So we're going three to six. We have the same denominator on both. Then adding the numerators, we're gonna have, we'll start with this one, square root nine minus x plus this one, square root of x dx. But then what you notice, the whole thing cancels, the whole integral just becomes one. Integrating that, integral of one, we're just evaluating x from three to six. Plug it in, we get six minus three that's gonna be equal to three. Not quite the solution yet, because this is two copies. Let's divide off two here. I mean, I need to divide two everywhere, right? But I think you know what's happening. Divide the two here, and then for this, we get our final solution of just three over two. And one quick note on this, I did mention earlier that you could do this in three seconds or whatever, just because once you realize it's King's principle, you realize the integral is gonna become one. If the integral is one, you basically go to this step, you go straight to six minus three over two, and you get our solution three halves. Okay, there you have it. Good one from JE Main. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.